The impact of the pandemic and other unforeseen events made organizations create security and health protocols for the safety of their employees. As the society gradually make its way back to normal, on-site security are heightened to make sure that those who will enter their facility will be recorded. The question now for every organization is, how do we safely bring back our employees? How do we control who's going to be in the building at a certain point of time? Rather than to doing the process manually, let me introduce one particular application that can help your organization seamlessly track and manage your employees and the visitors on site presence. The building access application helps your organization bring employees back into the office facilities safely. Built using Microsoft's Power Apps, Power Automate, Power BI, SharePoint, and a deep integration with Microsoft Teams, this application allows your organization to redefine your tracehold policies using any mobile device. How to get started The building access application can be embedded on your Microsoft Teams Applications tab. Once it's placed, three custom applications will be created building admin for configuration building access for user request and building security for request of check-in and check-out. Let's go through this one by one. Juan is an employee of Teams company. His organization allowed its employees to now return to their office. The company already have the business access application in their system, but Juan is new to this. So how will that work? It's simple. Open the Microsoft Teams app and click on the building access application. From there, it will redirect you to a page of options for new request, my request and safety precautions. In order for you to log in your visit, click on the new request tab. Once selected, a page for key eligibility questions for security and the details of your request to go to the office will be presented. After finalizing your request, the information you presented will now be submitted to the admin of the organization for approval. The approval section of the request will only be available to the admin, as the approver of the employee's request. Once reviewed by the admin, one can now see the status of his request under the My Request tab of the Building Access Applications landing page. From there, one can now see that his request was approved by the admin. Pretty neat right? As a requester, one have the access to request for one or multiple days of on-site visit, track or withdraw the requests, check in or check out using the QR code provided upon request for security check, and receive the latest news from his organization. Now, what if you're a part of the admin team of your organization? Here we have Paul. Paul is part of the admin team and is in charge of tracking the requests of their company's employees. Paul has the eligibility to define the occupancy threshold of each building, define the eligibility criteria for on-site access, track workers on-site at any location, and projected turnouts, and publish important instructions and eligibility questions for on-site access. The building access application plays different roles for different personas. Whether you're in the admin team, the security team, or the end user, more defined as the employee, access to this application and maximizing the protocols for security and safety for your organization has never been this accessible. With its innovative features, combining several powerful Microsoft tools, it's time for your organization to extend and adapt to the business access application to determine your organization's on-site readiness and gather insights for future planning. Microsoft values your safety and security. Visit docs.microsoft.com and check out the Microsoft Teams app template to download the app template package. Get started today.